All right, so here we go. This is, um, we're gonna do week uh, four, day two. And this is uh, needing them information from the other day. So just so you know, I am going to take my data from my uh, information from before and put it into my data collection up here. So it says range. Range is the one that where you take the biggest, the m biggest number that you have for your uh, sorting, which for me it would be my blue raspberry was the largest, and my smallest, which is the Caribbean punch or Caribbean, however you want to say it. And then you do for range, you do big minus little. So we are going to do thirteen minus six equals a seven range of seven um that's pretty crazy on this range just so you know i'm not going to include the zero because we actually didn't have any i guess you could say that the biggest range was a, we had zero to 13 um but because i didn't have any to collect i put i'm just leaving it out of that that piece right there. But technically it could be 13 minus 0. I'm actually going to ask Mr. Soul if he would include that. It's a, an interesting quandary I have there. Okay, median. Median is the number in the middle, but you have to put them in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. And you do need to put them in order so you have um, re even repeat the numbers. So I have 1, 6, Three eighths, one, two, three, and I have one nine. And I'm only gonna have nine flavors this time because I did not get that one. And then I would have eleven. I had ten. I guess I don't. One, two, three. Groups of eleven. One, two. Three, and I do not have a 12, but I have a 13. That's an awful lot of prime numbers. I guess it's only that many. So then when you do median, you cross out a low, a high, a low, a high, a low, a high, a low, a high. And the number in the middle is the median. Mode is the one that shows up the most. And this one we actually have two that show up the most. We have three eights and three elevens. So we have two for mode. We have eight and 11. Okay, average. That means you would add them all up and divide them by how many flavors there are. We actually only have nine flavors. So we would take the number, how many we have all together. So the average numbers, which would be all these, and it says, the average is right over here. The total of the number of Mike and Ike's divided by the total number of flavors. So I only have nine flavors. So I'm going to do nine divided by 85. Oops, sorry, wrong way. 85 divided, because we have 85 and we have 9 colors, and that should tell us 85 divided by 9 would be 9.4, which is, this is part interesting how sometimes this actually does match up. So our average is 9.4, that's what I entered into the calculator, and our median is these. Sometimes for mode, I've even seen people add 8 and 11 and then divide it by how the two numbers, which would get you actually to 9.5. But that doesn't, you know, the number 9.5 never shows up. So I've seen people do, but usually they do that with uh, the mean. If you have that outlier, do we have a number that is on the outside? Like any number that stands out? Not unless you count zero. Is 
zero for me and in my situation. I didn't have um, any that stood out. Like on this one, I showed if you were doing these, having one and that, that eight between and that not nine between, that's huge. So, I mean, that's a big difference. That means most of these are kind of in the same ballpark, but these two are definitely outliers. All right, so now I get to turn this information, my graph information, into this pie chart. And so the easiest way for me to do that is I'm going to take these colors and put them only the percentages over here. And I know that if I colored in this whole circle, it would be 100%, but I want to color in the percentages that are here. So I'm going to take these ones and I'm going to put them um, in order from least to greatest, just so I can kind of, you know, or if you just do the same thing and put Caribbean punch equals, I'm going to put my key over here, equals 7%. And I'm going to pick colors for that. And then strawberry banana equals, I guess I'm not really, I'm just going across 10%. Paradise punch. Sorry, I had to change this because it was really distracting because I kept reading this. Per Peruvian P, Paradise P. And apparently I'm immature, so I need to pick a different way to say that. Um, Paradise Punch was 9%. Grape Soda is 9% as well. We have, I'm going to skip the Kiwi Banana because we don't have any of that. Mango Orange. That equals 13%. Pineapple banana. <laughs> is 9%. Uh, watermelon. I'll tell you a joke in just a second. Equals 13%. Peach. <laughs> Very equals 13%. I'm laughing because my head is making me think about this stuff. And then blue raspberry. I have a total of 15%. Here's the joke. If you go into the bathroom and you're American and you come out of the bathroom and you're American, what are you in the bathroom? European. <laughs> Sorry. So funny. Cracks me up every time. Again, like I said, immature. That's what happens when you teach sixth grade for too long. You start to lose, um, I don't know, your sense of, um, I don't know, things that might be uh, trivial to other people. All right, here we go. So I need to put this into this pie chart. So I'm just going to start out. This is half. So half is 50%. So if I can find ways to break this up into 50%, and I kind of noticed when I was doing some of the math over here, that 10% would be, so if I broke this up into 10 pieces, so 180 degrees divided by 10, so 18 degrees to, into 10 sections, but I'm actually looking for 10% of 50%, so this is 50%. I need um, this to be 50, 10 groups of 10%. So I'm going to do, I want them to kind of be equal. And I'm eyeballing it. I will show you guys starting next week how to do this. I didn't get the protractors out was part of my problem. It really isn't that hard. Just so you know. If you're doing more percentages and you're trying to figure this out, um, you would oops, actually just take your 7% and do um, ah, my screen moved on me. 
sorry. You would actually just multiply this um, on by figuring out out of 360 degrees. I'll show you guys how to do that later. I'm looking at my time. I don't really have time. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So actually, have, those look about-ish, right? Some of them look bigger. So if I'm doing 10%, I'm going to say this one is the banana. I'm going to put 10% SB. So SB. And then I have 7% for the punch. This one looks a little bit smaller right here. I'm going to put... Caribbean punch, 7%. And then I have, these are so close. Like literally if I wanted to, I could give a tiny bit of a percentage to this one. And so 10, actually let's do the 13 because 10 and seven. So 13% would be mango orange. Let's get Take a little bit more of this one so it's a little smaller. 13%, which is mango orange. And then we have not so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we could just put two of these nines in here and we could be okay. So we have Paradise Punch is 9%. And we also have grape. Soda, which is also 9%. We've done Caribbean, Banana, Paradise, Grape, and the Mango Orange. So that's half of it. Now we just need to figure out the other half of it, which when you look back 10, 20, 30, and you would take 5 and 3 would be 8, so 38, 39, 40, 41, and 41 plus 9 is 50. Boo, yeah, there you go. We're done with that. So we just need to put these in here. And I'm probably say since if you look, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this section's going to be broken into 4 because we have this 15%. So we're going to make my 15%. And then I have a 13, which is close. 13, oopsie, because that's the other one's 9. I want to do nine. Maybe I'll just split this and that one looks like 15. That could be a 15%. So this is 13%. 13%. And we're going to do this as watermelon. And this is peach berry. And the 15% is blue, raspberry, and this is 9%, which is, what was the berry? Sorry, Pe pineapple banana, sorry, PB. All right, so then you would take your chart after we've had these labeled and we have make sure we have our nine colors one two three four five six seven eight nine and then you would color them in with your colors from this morning all right i will post a picture of that have a great day